I love a takeaway. Hey, we all love a takeaway. And each year we get through hundreds of millions of curries, pizza, kebabs, burgers, you name it. If it's quick and easy, in it goes. But what if the next time your fast food arrives, I turn up at the front door, take away your takeaway, and send you on a journey to taste the real thing? Hello. Adam. Hello. Who Long knows day. where you'll end up or what you'll find yourself doing? You are on the next plane to Texas. You're going to Hong Kong, ladies. I'm seriously going to New Orleans to learn about you. The chosen fast food lovers will have just three short days to wise up to the origins of their favourite food before making the genuine article for the scariest, most important experts we can lay our hands on. Now, if you'll excuse me a moment, I've got a delivery to make. Thank you, my friend. Now, this little feast has just been ordered by a girl who loves her Indian food. Meet Rowney. She's a 17-year-old vegetarian who hates meat but loves a takeaway curry. The only time she ventures into the kitchen is to make a pancake, and even then, things don't go to plan. But tonight, she's not just getting a takeaway. Oh, no. I'm about to tell her that she's going to travel 6,000 miles to India to learn how to cook one of these bad boys for herself. At the moment, Rowney is at home with friends and she has no idea we're about to pack her off to India where she will learn to make real Indian food from the best chefs the country has to offer. So how is she going to cope cooking under extreme conditions on the other side of the world? Well, she lives here, so we're about to find out. This way. Hello. Hello, Rowney. Rowney, come here. <laughs> Rowney, I've got your curry for you. Oh you love God. a curry, didn't you? Yeah. Because I know you cook them yourself all the time, didn't you? Oh, yeah, totally. Do you? That's a lie, isn't it, Rowney? Come, come. We need to talk. Oh, come, come, come in. Hello, everyone. Oh, How are you doing? Oh, God. I've got you some cuisine. There it is. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, I don't understand. OK, Rowney, before we can enjoy the Indian cuisine you love so much, I need you to answer some questions for me. Go ahead, it's then. a test, it's an easy test. Where does the word curry originate from? India. It's English. Really? <laughs> How far do you think it is from here to Delhi? About a million miles. A million miles? <laughs> We're close, it's actually 6,000. Do you have a passport? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, in that case, you're going to need this. Okay. What? Where are you going? That's a plane ticket to Delhi. What? Yes. <laughs> Language. Come and sit down. I this. When you oh come back, God. if you're not the font of all knowledge when it comes to curries, then it's too late for you. Come on, we're off. Let's what? Go. Brownie, come on. Okay, come let's on. go. Let's go to India. Rock and roll. Oh my God, it's like I've never been abroad before. Oh my God, what is going on? <laughs> oh my God, I'm really, really scared. Rowney's on her way to India's capital, Delhi. She's about to get a taste of the country at its craziest and most hectic. You see, there are one billion people in India and they all take their food very seriously. Will the girl from Milton Keynes blend in seamlessly? This could be very interesting. Look at the cars. They look about 100 years old. Is that my taxi? Oh my god, am I getting in there? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, look at this place. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Rowney is en route to the Mohan Singh market where a mentor is waiting. Lubna has been teaching Indian cookery for 15 years and over the next few days will be taking Rowney on a voyage of culinary discovery that starts right here. Hi. 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 Hi
I'm Lubna. Nice Hello. Hello. Now, having sent Rowney halfway around the world, I expect her, and I repeat, expect her to come back a curry queen. Our student of spice should not stray from her quest, and to make sure she doesn't, I'm going to send her messages every day using this little box of tricks. Watch this. There's a message for you from Mr. Dave. Just see. Oh, God, what's he going to say to me? Yeah, I don't know. Hello, Rowney. <laughs> I made that. Hope you had a safe trip. Now, when I first met you, you had absolutely no idea about what went into making a good curry, which is why I've organised a little shopping trip downtown to get all those essential ingredients. But be warned, my friend, it's not going to be like a trip to the local shop. In just a couple of days, and bear in mind Rowney doesn't know it, she will be expected to cook an authentic Indian dish. To achieve that, she must start with the basics. This is all variety of rice. Basmati is the best, you know? This is bay leaf. And this is powder, this is yeah, curry powder. Red, red chilli powder, which we need today. We need turmeric powder, we need coriander and powder. And these are bay leaves. Most Indians are vegetarians, which means Rowney will have to get to know the dozens of fruit and vegetables that go into a typical curry. But despite being a vegetarian herself, it doesn't look like this is a specialist subject. Are these carrots? Yeah. Oh my god, they look so weird. These are lemons. Lemons? Yeah. These are lemons? Yes. Oh my god. Carrots and peas. Suppose you've got to start somewhere, but her education is cut short because something else has caught her eye. Oh my god. It's vegetarian Rowney's worst nightmare. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Just killing the chickens on the floor in front of all the other chickens and like just skinning them, taking all the feathers off, cutting it up. And the other chickens are just like sitting there waiting to be killed and then eaten and sold. This is the way they clean the chicken. First they have to pull the skin, they have to remove all the feathers and then they clean it from inside. Well how can I do it? It's horrible. They're, they're, this is their profession, you know? But unfortunately for Rowney, their chosen way out is straight through the fish and meat stalls. Don't go down there, Rowney. I need to get out of here. Let's go down there. Can we go there? Can we yeah, go? Sure. Can we go? Can we go? The smell of death is everywhere. This is all fish. Come, come, come fast. Oh, okay. We'll cross it. <laughs> Don't vomit. I did oh, like gosh. the cutting up of animals, just leaving them in a cage and yes. just people with their bare feet on the worktop. It's like everywhere you move, there's like people yes. and this is the very I don't, I don't like the path either because it's like okay. it was all wet and especially when you're walking through the meat bit, like you don't know like what you're standing in, like meat juices and stuff. <laughs> it looks like Lubna has a work cut out. With the shopping trip cut short, it's off to find some dinner from somewhere else. That's if they make it out alive. In an effort to make Rowney feel more at ease with her Indian food experience, Lubna decides to bring her somewhere with more of a Western feel. It's uh, like fast food, Indian fast food, you know? Okay, come on then. Indian fast food means deep fried pastries called puris. You have to fill them with your choice of masala. That's curry sauce to you and me. This is a bit snappy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, nice taste. For fussy eater Rowney, it's probably best to start with a plain one. How's it? Mm, good. Yeah, at least you like it. I want to try the hottest thing you can get. But sometimes you can be overconfident. Yeah. <laughs> this way. <laughs> it's hot. Oh. She doesn't like. <laughs> she oh, doesn't like sometimes she doesn't know that she's insulting. You know, she doesn't know the culture of India. It smells like sick. No, no, no. <laughs> Yogurt. Good? No? When I don't like foods, I don't mind about other people seeing me spit it out. I'll just spit it out straight away. But Lumna handled it really well. Mmm. I love this. For her, at least she tried everything. 
So best thing is this, which we enjoyed a lot. I enjoyed a lot. It's been a long first day. Time to head back to Lubna's house, where Rowney will be staying. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Look at the gate. Oh, it's Ooh, so la la. I'm actually quite ashamed of myself because in the past I've really judged people just by looking at them. In England, normally I'd walk past an Indian person and, you know, not showing much respect. And I really regret it because they're lovely people. This is already, I've been here what, one day and it's already really changed the way I feel about them. It's day two, and Rowney's decided to dress down for the hot weather. Time to throw a spanner in the works. Morning. Yeah, there's a message for you from Mr. Dave. When we first met Rowney, you didn't have a clue what went into your beloved curry, but then again, I can't blame you for that. There are literally hundreds of different spices, but I've got a solution to our problem. I've got you, my friend, a job in one of Asia's biggest spice markets. But remember this, Rowney, just try and blend in a bit, yeah? I've got to yeah. work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a big surprise for me. Oh, my God. And now Lubna must break the really bad news. You cannot dress up like this and go there. Why you not? Have, people will come and they tell you it's better to change in Indian dress. You oh. have to change. Tell a girl what to wear. <laughs> You're asking for trouble. Okay. <laughs> I want to put my clothes on. I hate it. At least if I put them on, I can go there and if I get stones chucked at me, then I can change. I can find out for myself. There are lots of labellers, low-caste people, you know, workers, mostly. And they'll come and they'll, there are lots of people together also. They can come and pinch her, touch her. So it's not good for her. I don't like it. I will personally feel more happy, more comfortable. But you know, you're in India, OK? I hate it. Smile. No, there's nothing to smile about. Rowney's about to spend the day working in the world's biggest spice market. This is the ideal place for her to get familiar with the core ingredients of all Indian food. Every day, millions of bags containing every spice imaginable are bought and sold here, then exported all over Asia. Because it's so busy, the spice market can only be entered using a cycle rickshaw, which, incidentally, seems just a tonic for someone in a bit of a mood. <laughs> Hold it from the side. How cool is this? It's really old and everything's falling apart. Rowney has been thrown into the male-dominated world of Old Delhi. Women hardly ever venture into the spice market and even tough-talking Rowney looks a little bit intimidated. Do you think this market is suitable for that type of clothes? Do you think? No, I don't like it. Waiting for Rowney is Sonny, her new boss. He will expect her to muck in with the other workers who spend the day lugging his sacks of spice to the market street. Oh, my God. <sighs> I don't like it. I want to go home. <coughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Sunny. I'm Rowney. Hi, Rowney. So you're going to be working for us? Yeah, I think so. Rowney's first job will be to grind the dried chilies. You have to do this. <laughs> okay. With both your hands. You hold it like this. Like that. Okay. Like that. <laughs> Is it done yet? No, no, not at all. Am <laughs> <laughs> I breaking it? Break it, break it. Oh, I can't see. Oh, oh, no. She applied the force so hard that it's broken now. <laughs> so now what? Yeah, we will okay, uh, give you some more work to do. Come, come, come. With Sonny's grinder destroyed, Rowney must now tackle the hardest job of all. Oh my 
my god, it smells so strong! Oh my god! I can feel it in my throat. I can, I can taste chilies. Rowney's about to transport a 20 pound sack of chilies on her back. Now what? Hold it on your back. Is it okay? You have to lift it. Yeah, that's right. First, the chilies have to be weighed and their weight written on the bag. And a smiley face as well. And if you thought that was a palaver, Rowney has been given directions to a spice shop half a mile away, where they're waiting for the bag. Navland, Ra, Bohanath, Roti, Shan, Shohalal. A normal spice worker carries up to 150 pounds on their back. At 20 pounds, Rowney's sack only weighs a fraction of this, so there's nothing to complain about, really. Where's my wrist? Or is there? Ah, my back! My back! Ah, my back! Ah! Rowney shrieking has brought the entire market well, to a going? standstill. Thankfully, are they are. Okay, okay. Very good. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. For you, the job was difficult? Yeah, or not? really difficult. My back was hurting. It felt like really bad period pains. Um, my shoulder was hurting. I got out of breath really quickly. But you enjoyed? No. No? And I couldn't have done that in my miniskirt. No way. <laughs> Back at the house, it's time for Rowney to get her hands dirty with a cooking lesson from Lubna. So you have a lot of work to do. On the menu, her favourite, vegetable samosas. Now mix it. Not like this. <laughs> Use your whole hand. Mix all these flour. Cooking samosas is tricky and Rowney must pay attention because in one hour, Lubna has guests arriving who will expect Ready? her to cook them from scratch. Yeah. Unfortunately, Rowney doesn't know this and is concentrating on anything but the cooking lesson. <laughs> Turmeric powder. Turmeric powder. Yeah. Curry powder no, for curry. Running. No turmeric in it. That's okay? a nice name for a baby, isn't it? Just listen carefully. No turmeric <laughs> in it. Very good. Two things. No, no, wrong, 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 wrong way. The curved portion should be outside. No, wrong. Not like this. <laughs> no, it's fine. Here. I don't reckon much has gone in, but nevertheless, Rowney is confident. That's easy, I can do that. <laughs> Remember those words, because I'm about to drop a bit of a bombshell. We have a message from Mr Dev, just see. Hello, Rowney. Uh, now, your time in India is coming to an end, and I must say I'd be disappointed if you hadn't learnt anything. I mean, what would have been the point of the whole exercise? Which is why I've arranged for uh, some of your mentor's friends to come round for dinner to try your samosas. Yes, that's right, Rowney, your samosas. So, for your sake, and more importantly theirs, I hope you've actually learnt something. You know? Oh, by myself? Yeah, my oh, guests well. are coming in, in, in within oh, one he's hour. Coming, yeah. He's coming, he's <laughs> coming. <laughs> yes, it's a surprise. <laughs> I feel a bit nervous because there's all these people coming for food and I can't really cook it. I know what to do and everything, but when it comes down to doing it, it will turn out cack. I know it will. With the guests arriving, the pressure is on. And to make matters worse, Lubna has left out a mixture of ingredients. Rowney will have to work out which ones are for the samosas and which ones are not. I don't want them to be horrible, though. Like. There's all those people. Don't have onion and samosa, do you? Chilli powder, chilli powder, chilli powder. Or is it curry? Well, if in doubt, chuck it all in. Chilli, coriander, onion. Oh, it smells well strong. Looks like they've got a real treat in store. This is a disaster. 
is it? But oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What have I done wrong? An hour has now passed and the house is filling with hungry visitors. Oh my god, why won't this turn into samosa? Ah, right, here we go. That's more like it, isn't it? At last, Rowney is nearly there. There we go, look at that. All she needs to do now is fry it. Fry it, Rowney, fry it. <gasps> Ow! That's if she remembers that the pan is still hot. Now they'll have to wait even longer while Rowney cleans up. I'm really, really clumsy. I'm really blonde when it comes to most things. It's now seven o'clock and two hours since Rowney began cooking. And thank goodness those things actually look like, well, samosas. Time for Lugner's guest to sample the long awaited concoction. Nothing good. I'm so sorry. I think that reaction speaks for itself, but let's have them mark the effort out of 10 anyway. You can eat it, mm. but it is not delicious. Mm. Two or three out of 10. Okay. I'll give you six. Lubna's been kind, but it's clear that the samosas have been a failure. Even for me, it took around two years to learn samosas, how to make perfect samosas. So she, first attempt was very good. I think my biggest mistake was not paying enough attention to um, Lubna at first. I wasn't really taking in what she was saying. I was just watching and picking my nails and stuff. You're an amazing person. Yeah, I, I miss, miss you. everything. I miss you too. Yeah, I miss you. <laughs> Bye. Before Rowney heads home, she has one last morning in India and has decided to visit a local Hindu temple. Oh, it's pretty cool in here. Look, look at the ceiling. I thought I was just coming here to learn about the food, but I haven't really learned a lot about food. I've learned more about the people. Ow! Before I came here, I just thought that I was a deprived child. And I mean, yeah, I did get a bit annoyed about having to wear the Indian clothes, but I wasn't sulking about it when we drove past homeless people who've got nothing. This has been the best experience of my life. It's been absolutely amazing. And I think I will go back to England, a new and improved Rowney. It's a week later and I've decided to pay Rowney a visit to taste her famous samosas for myself. If I don't make it, tell my family I love them very much. Rowney! Hi, Dave. Cook me a samosa. Okay. <laughs> 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 